My name is Charles Lewis, and I am half owner of Ponderosa Pond and Trading Company. Uh, my name is John Casey Lewis. Uh, I grew up in Page, Arizona. Had a store at the Grand Canyon, and then I retired, and then I bought this one, uh, 2013. So yeah, um, we grew up at the Grand Canyon, or I grew up at the Grand Canyon, and uh, he had he was running a gas station slash food mart. But then after that, uh, we ended up moving to Phoenix, and uh, I, I used to I used to work in power plants, so. And then after that, we moved to Page, Arizona. And then that's where we got familiar with most of the jewelry and stuff. And uh, then, yeah, about six years ago, we decided to move back to Flagstaff and buy this place. I was in between jobs and he got an opportunity, so we took it. Well, I deal mostly with Native Americans. Uh, I, I'm a pawn shop and a trading post, but uh, I don't, I'm not your regular pawn shop. I take mostly Native American jewelry. If you look around, kachinas, rugs, I don't, you know, get into the other stuff too much. A few things, but not much. And we sell music, arts, jewelry, stuff like that, so. Uh, this is just exclusively trade. It's um, second hand, I guess you'd call it, so. We're probably the worst pawn shop in the world because we give them more time than anybody. <laughs> We're a little too far south of the actual downtown, or west, I guess. So we don't get a lot of the tourist traffic. Yeah, that I, I meet a lot of different people, and I like to, to deal with the, the natives on the, with the jewelry. Oh, I, I like the big, the big turquoise bracelets and the, uh, the old jewelry, you know, the old stuff that was made before 1950, just yeah, a lot of it in the 50s. Even the 60s is good stuff. It started changing after the 70s. It started getting cheaper and thinner and not as much work put into it. So I like the old stuff, but the bracelets and the squash blossoms I, I like, and the concho belts, yeah, those are good too. Uh, not having a boss is actually my favorite part of working here. <laughs> kind of do whatever I like and nobody tells me what to do. Um, it's 50-50, I mean, we don't argue about much. He has a good idea, I have a good idea, we just go with it. We actually used to live upstairs. There's like a five bedroom apartment and um, I never got to leave work even on my day off. So it's kind of terrible at first, but now I like it. So. It has, you know, depend the jewelry, some of it's really old. Like in the big case over here, some of that stuff's, you know, made back in the thirties. Some of the kachinas are really old. Some of these rugs are really old. Just, they all have their own stories, you know, it's, it's, you know, and there's, they don't, the natives don't write a lot of it down. So you got to get it by word of mouth. So it's, it, you could go anywhere in here and find a story. I mean, they moved here, let's see, December, six years ago. And then, um, a couple years later, I got engaged, now married. So I guess you could say that uh, it settled me down, I guess you'd say. It no longer, I used to travel a lot, so now I'm always here. But that's one side effect, I'm always here. <laughs>